Hi friends, this is Problems and Trends video part 2 and in this video we are going to learn some of the very important question which will frequently appear in your exam. Now the question is a train covers 10 kilometers in 10 minutes. Right? 10 kilometers in 10 minutes. So what is given? See the distance is given and the time is given. We can use a formula D is equal to ST. So distance will be 10 kilometer and a speed will have to calculate and time will become 10 minute right okay so this 10 kilometer we can write in terms of meter so 10 into 1000 because 1 kilometer is equal to how many meter is equal to 1000 meter and is equal to s into 10 minute so in 1 minute how many seconds 60 seconds so in 10 minute it will be 10 into 60 now 10 and 10 will get cancelled s will become 1000 divided by 60 meter per second right because we have converted to meter per second right now the next part of the question is if it takes six seconds to pass a telegraph so time is equal to six seconds and what is passing it is passing a telegraph so telegraph length will be zero if you compare with the train right so what will the distance the distance will be length of train plus length of telegraph but length of telegraph will be zero so distance will be only distance will be only length of the train right okay now if it if it takes six seconds to pass a telegraph post then the length of the train is right now we know d is equal to lt and time is given and speed is given so d will be s into t where d is equal to 5 we have to find out a speed will be 1000 divided by 60 and time will be how much 6 second right so 6 this will go by 10 times and from 1 0 1 0 will go off so distance or you can say the length of the train will be nothing but 100 meter will be your answer so from the first statement given in the question what we did we find out the speed in meter per second why in meter per second because the time again is given in seconds so for finding that we converted this to meter per second and time is given six second and telegraph length will be zero as compared to when you will compare to length of the train so distance will be only length of the train and once we will use the formula we will be able to get the distance is equal to 100 meter question number two in question number two they are telling two trains 100 meters and 120 meter long are running in the same direction so suppose this is train one and this is train two they are running in the same direction so in same direction we know the speed will get subtracted right because s for same and s for subtract so if any speed is there then the speed will get subtracted when the train are moving in the same direction right okay so two trains 100 meter and 120 meter so this length is 100 meter and the, this other train length is 120 meter right and the first train speed is 72 kilometer per hour so it's given in the question and the second train speed is 54 kilometer per hour this is also given in the question so in how much time will the first train cross the another train right Can cross the second train so see the distance speed and time formula we will use d is equal to st so what will be the distance so when a train is crossing another train then the distance will be length of the first train plus length of the second train so length of the first train is 100 meter and length of the second train is 120 meter so this will be total 220 meter see we know very well when a train crosses another train another train or a bridge or a platform then the distance or the length will be length of the train plus either another length of the train or another bridge length or the another platform length which we have assumed lx so here the distance will be the length of the first train plus the length of the second train so 100 plus 120 is equal to 220 meter right now the train are moving in the same direction so when the train will move in the same direction then the relative speed 
the relative speed will be s1 minus s2 right so s1 minus s2 is equal to what 72 kilometer minus 54 kilometer per hour right and the time we have to calculate now this is 220 meter now this kilometer per hour will have to convert into meter per second why because options are given in the terms of seconds so 72 minus 54 12 minus 4 is 8 and 6 minus 5 is 1 kilometer per hour will have to multiply with 5 by 18 if you want to convert into meter per second into time now this 18 and 18 will get cancelled and this 5 this will go by 44 times so my time will become how much 44 second and option d will be our answer so thanks for watching the video